I woke up and I saw something in the distance. It was probably a ghost. And that's why I think it's time for us to bust out the Ouija board. Who are you? Are you making it do this? No, no, it's spinning on its own. No, that's impossible. You're gone. JD banished you. What, what, what can I do? Why are you still here? No. No, I can't do that. That's not, that's not... Ugh. I know what must be done. Danny, it's time. Anton, yeah, I'm starting it now. Uh, we're getting brunch later, right? Good. Sorry about the ghost. Talk to you later. Say hi to the coaster for me. Good morning, DSA. Good morning, DSA. I'm Danny and Good morning, DSA. I'm Jay Good morning, DSA. 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 Good morning, morning, DSA. Good morning, I'm Owen Johnson. And I'm Danny Najjar. And this is the final episode of DSA Newsroom. Uh, hi. I'm Danny. You may remember me from the DSA Newsroom or Class of 2017. I've got a little bit of explaining to do. So first off, I should say that it is currently 6 in the morning. Uh, May 22nd, that's graduation day for you 2018 seniors, and uh, I was planning on recording this later, but I couldn't sleep, I was too excited. Let me tell you what's going on. Basically, a year ago, <laughs> at the end of Newsroom, we had this big final episode planned, and and we had it all edited, and it was about to be uploaded, and then one of the guys was like, wait, 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 I got one more meme for you, Danny, just, just give me a sec, don't upload it yet. So I said, okay. And I never got that meme. Sorry about it. It just never got uploaded. So I completely forgot about it, so did everyone else, and, and Newsroom just kind of died. Fast forward to a year later, that's like a week ago, I was talking to my buddy Socks, and she was saying that she was showing her friend an episode of Newsroom that she was in. I'm like, oh, what? Was that the, the green screen episode or something? And she's like, what? Was that ever released? And that was one of the segments that you're about to see. And I'm like, no, uh, I guess it wasn't. So a thought came to me. A thought was, I could release this now. It's like a waste if I don't release it, right? But, or I could hype it up like a heck. So that's what I did, that's what that's what I decided to do. This is, I should mention, this is completely non-DSA affiliated. This is just random stuff. So, um, we've, I've, got a, I've got a number of submissions from you guys so that we can make this a big final resting thing for you seniors. You guys are going to be one of the last classes that will really remember Newsroom in its prime. So, um, this one's for you guys. Consider it a consider it a graduation gift. Also, there was an announcement from a year ago that will be completely irrelevant now. And that is that uh, there will be five new parking spots available at the gala for In the Heights. <laughs> I promised Joey that I would make that announcement, and uh, here it is. So you can let him know that, that Danny Boy said that for him. And on that note, a lot of things, a lot of things are going to be really out of date in this episode. There were shows going on that are not going on now. 
there are some memes that don't make sense. And uh, yeah, this is, this is the last episode. Uh, you can you can rest easy, Miss Davies. This is the end of DSA Newsroom. I hope you enjoy the final addition to our newsroom legacy that you all helped create. Bum, ba -da -da -dum. Bum. Cut. Hi, who is that? Me, Danny Najar. Why are we here? We're doing self-help. Semester two, green screen edition with our first guy, Mr. Jack. Can we edit a, a, like a crowd in the back applauding profusely? There we go. Bow, give us, there you go. I love this thing. Yes? What should I do about my valentine? Oh. What's your name, kid? Uh, my name is, uh, uh, Paul Thomas Anderson. Alexander Hamilton? Hi, Danny! Hi, Kayla! I mean, what's your name, kid? Oh, you know, it's Kayla. Kayla! That's, that's a new one. Jack, if you could go anywhere in this whole wide world, where would you go? Space. Change it. <laughs> T take us out of space, Jack. That's a good question. Where would you go, Danny? Where would I go? I'd go to Denver School of the Arts. Oh, wow. The best, wow. Ladies and gents, we have a special guest. The man, the legend, Fred. If you don't know him, you must be living under a rock. Under a rock. Yeah. <laughs> Australia. Oh no! There are spiders everywhere! Has the newsroom ever lied to you? I know. Look at that. Rose. Love. Will likes it. Will's a fan. You know what you can do at Denver School of the Arts? Buy Valentine's roses and support our prom. Prom? Prom. Wow, that's at the Brown Palace this year. It's really expensive. Oh, what's that, the Brown Palace? You've never been to the Brown Palace? I, I don't know what it you is. You don't even know what the Brown Palace is. Does, is it owned by Miss Brown? No. I can only assume that's why she chose it. Hi. Hi, what? Friggin' people these days. <laughs> I'm, I'm going. Till next time, I'll be taking a trip to, um, green screen land. <laughs> See ya. Hey, it's Elliot. America's number one snack cake by the box or handy single pack. Unwrap the smile. <laughs> Post nap Danny here. Uh, it is later in the day now. I've got one more announcement from Stevie Harmon. And that is that he just started a journal called ToiletGameStudies.org, the International Game Toilet Studies Academic Journal and is seeking any game toilet related written submissions. Not sure what a game toilet is, but I don't need to, because Newsroom is dead. <laughs> also, Stevie decided to dedicate his last game, which is a historical edutainment game about Gettysburg, called Player Known Battlegrounds to Mr. Mark Hughes and Mr. Russell, who are both no longer at DSA. And again, that's why this Episode is dedicated to you, seniors, because y'all know this stuff. That's a lot of what this episode is going to be. I mean, this episode was lost in time, after all. That sounds really cool. But uh, no more, no more boundaries. I can put whatever I want on here. I can be a spooky boy. Did a number on you, didn't they? It's all right. I'll be out of here soon. Shoot. Quiet. You haven't figured us out yet, have they? All right. Let's go.
and sell his soul for just a piece of meat. <laughs> Isn't it nice, a place like this? You'll never go hungry. <laughs> One more mark. All right, go! Come back! Sorry, baby. It's fine, Mama. It just hurts. Nina, what is that? Nothing important. Then let me see. So my name is Sequoia Hippolyte. Um, I'm a junior in theater this year. And essentially over the summer with um, Sophie Krupanski and Sydney Gabriel Mays, I wrote a 50 page play about black history, the black history we don't hear about in school, the wonderful art and musicians and people who created such beautiful things that's really the backbone of this country. I think it's important to acknowledge that Black history is American history because I think a lot of times people don't think about them simultaneously and for me Black History Month has always been so weird because it seems like this separate thing we set aside specifically just to focus on something that isn't, almost isn't relevant when it should be relevant 365 days of the year. Yeah, it's, it's really independent, you know, like all the admin, they kind of stay apart while we just, we just kind of run the thing, you know, just kind of do it. It was really exciting. I know it was like a very short process, but Sequoia put a lot of work into it and so did Alex, so it was like super exciting. And it's also my first like shop show, so it was like a lot of hard work on me, but it was very short, but very precise and I'm so excited about it and it was great. Well, DSA, thanks for watching. And we just want to express how grateful we are for your constant, dedicated viewership for these past two years of news. I'm Owen Johnson. And I'm Danny Najjar. And we hope you have a, a great, great DSA, DSA kind of life.